cooking is done slow cooking, what we're going to do is we're going to use some forks, we're going to get it out. Alright guys, this is what we're going to be making our pulled pork out of. This is what is known as a pork loin. A lot of people use different other pork meat products and that's perfectly fine. But I love these the most because they already are pre-seasoned. One is applewood smoked bacon, which means that it has little pieces of bacon bits that will cook with the pork loin and I just love it because whenever you get a piece of bacon, it always makes things taste better. Am I right? Now you want to make sure that this thing is frozen before you put it in your slow cooker. Do not thaw it out. You want it to be frozen because it helps with the slow cooking process. It helps it fall apart and be more tender and juicy. So what we're gonna do is we're simply just gonna take this out of the package, pop it into our crock pot. We're going to add a half of a cup of water to that. Then we are going to turn it on low for eight to 10 hours. So if you wanna do this pulled pork recipe, make sure that you get it started in the morning if you're having a New Year's Eve party later on in the afternoon. You wanna make sure that you start this in the morning because it does, I recommend doing the 10 hours because it does taste a little bit better. But you can do the eight hours, but do eight to 10 hours on low. I don't recommend doing it on high because then the meat becomes tough. So let's get started. This is my co-star for the day. This is my 15 month old son, Bryson. He's eating pizza. Pizza! And we also got Anthony. He's hanging around the, the kitchen today. We got all of them here today. It is a house full. All right guys, so for our pulled pork sliders, I'm using some Hawaiian, it's King's Hawaiian bread rolls. They are not cut yet, so you're going to need a serrated knife. Notches in it, it's a, it's a bread knife. What we're gonna do is we're going to cut it all the way across, all the way across. Sometimes I wish that they had already cut these, just because it'd save you a little bit of time, but we got the time. So we're gonna cut it, and we're gonna flip it over, just like that. Okay, so now we have the bottom piece. You want the bottom piece to be thicker because it's got to absorb some of this moisture from our meat. And then we're going to be using Swiss cheese. This is already pre-sliced Swiss cheese. We're going to be laying that on top of the meat when it's done. And then we're going to pop it in the oven at 325 degrees for about 10 minutes just to get the butter and the oregano that we're going to put on the top golden brown. And it's going to add a little bit extra flavor. So, I'll come back on the next step. Just Okay, well our pork loin is done slow cooking. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use some forks. We're gonna get it out. Uh, try to be careful because the sauce in the pork loin is very hot. It has been cooking for the last 10 hours. So again, be careful. It's going to fall apart. It's going to be very tender. So take your time trying to get it out. Hey guys, here's our pork loin. It fell apart on me when I took it out. It's very tender. All you need are two forks, like so, and you're going to stab and pull, stab and pull. Once you get all of it shredded, we're going to add our barbecue sauce, and we're on to the next step. Alright guys, so we added our barbecue sauce to our pulled pork, sorry there, my fork was trying to run away. Um, you don't want it wet, you don't want it soaking wet. You just want to be able to have that little itty bitty glisten on the meat from the barbecue sauce that you've added in. You can always add more after the sandwich is done, which I highly recommend. I don't recommend you use a lot because it's gonna make your bread soggy. All right, so let's set this aside real quick and get our rolls back over here and frame. I have a 13 by nine inch pan that I have lined with wax paper. So that way when they're done, we can just grab the edge and slide it out. Makes it a whole lot easier when it comes to serving. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to take our pulled pork and literally just lay it right on there. 
Lay it right on the bread. You want to be, you know, nice servings because all the other food that um, I'm showing you guys isn't specifically to fill someone's tummy. New Year's Eve parties are known for their alcohol. Some of you don't use alcohol and I praise you, but most of us do. And when you are drinking alcohol, you need to have substance in your body. So we want to give everybody a hearty serving of our pulled pork. You can make more. Um, this is only a 12 count roll pack. And once we get all this meat on here, there we go. That looks like just about enough. I'm gonna have some extra, which my husband's gonna be happy about because he loves this pulled pork. Now we're going to take our Swiss cheese, like I had mentioned earlier, and just literally lay it over. I like to buy the pre-sliced because it's a little bit quicker than having to cut your own cheese. But I do like the fresh cut cheese, the taste of it. Now if you want to, you can double layer this. Um, I'm not going to today because I have my kids eating it tonight and they're not really very big fans of cheese. So we have that. Now we're going to take our top buns and we are just going to lay it on top. Now what we want to do is we want to take about two to three tablespoons of butter, melt it in the microwave for a few minutes, and then we're going to mix in some freshly cut oregano to the butter. You can even add a little bit of garlic powder or garlic salt or black pepper if you'd like. And then we're going to take a basting brush and just brush it over the top, put it in a 325 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes depending upon your oven. It's going to be, it's already pretty much golden brown, but it'll be crusty kind of on top from the butter. All right guys, let's get the butter done and get this thing in the oven. My son got his own little kitchen for Christmas. This thing is so cute, you guys. My husband, he has his own YouTube channel as well. All right, guys. So we have our melted butter here. I added my oregano and some fresh cracked black pepper. All we're gonna do is just brush it right on there. You want to make sure you get all the tops. <laughs> my son's walking around with a blanket on his head. Are you okay? Okay, hold on guys. I think we have a... All right, we're good. We're good. Okay guys, let's keep rubbing this with some butter. Now like I said, you don't wanna drench it. You just wanna get it enough, you know, with the butter. Make sure you don't have any spots that you missed. You wanna make sure the whole top is nice and nice and golden brown. Get some flakes of the green in there. Try to keep them from going in the corners. Oregano does have a good taste. What? Say hi. Say hi. Say hi to the people watching. Mama's teaching. Look. You wanna say hi? Hello. Hello. High five. High five. There we go. Yeah. All right, guys. 325 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes until it's nice and crispy and that butter has kind of been absorbed and soaked in by the bread. Um, I'll be back whenever it's done. All right guys, so I just took it out of the oven. It took about 12 minutes at 325 degrees. Now we're gonna have to cut them into their little sandwich pieces. You can put them on like some little skewers or toothpicks to keep them together, but they are perfectly golden. Can you hear that? That crunchy? They're not burnt, they're just perfectly golden. So let's get them cut up. Yeah, All right, guys. <laughs> so I have, <laughs> I laid them on a bed of a spring mix salad. It just kind of spruces it up, gives it some more flavor. And if somebody's eating the sandwich and they want some lettuce on it, they can easily just grab it off the plate, pull up the bread, put the lettuce on. So there you have it. There's our Hawaiian pulled pork sliders they are just beautiful they are delicious and they are definitely a crowd pleaser we'll see you next time on good food made better well if you like today's videos or you have any questions or comments please make sure that you do leave a comment down below underneath our video and we will be very quick to respond back if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to our channel 
We have new recipes weekly, and we also have more New Year's Eve finger foods coming up soon. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye.